Thomas, I'm Peter from Bilderberg, and uh, let's have a look outside the window. Oh, no, wait, there are no windows because I've made my cockpit into a convertible. Sort of. Uh, I've taken the windows down because I've made new window frames for the cockpit. And you can see one of them over here, the first officer side. That is the first side window, and here's the second one. You might not be able to see it on this video. It's a bit big, big structure for for uh, for the camera. But this is the first officer side, and over here you can see the captain side window frame ready to be installed. That's also why I have these vertical beams going up. They are holding the overhead, which is floating free mid air, and. Um, I'm about to install these windows, or at least I thought I was, because that is has turned out to be one big nightmare once again. The old windows uh, came from when I started this project. They were about five years old now, made from wood, not the finish of them. The quality wasn't very good, and they just started coming apart and with big gaps and leaning a bit downwards, and they just needed to be replaced. So I made these uh, with... Uh, measurements from um, Mickey's flight deck and I've been careful with filling out the joints here, painting uh, and my carpentry work isn't of that big a quality but still uh, I, I actually think they look rather good. They have they've been primed, they've been painted twice and then uh, with some extra finish on, on top and even though I've still managed to scratch them quite heavily a few places trying to install these because installation of these windows turned out to be a nightmare. I always tend to forget and then I remind myself and I tell it on all the videos about structural parts no cockpit is the same. You cannot just download a plan from the internet make it the same measurements and expect it to fit because something is just not gonna fit. And it was the same thing here. A lot of things didn't fit and that's why I've taken most of it apart. And by the end of installation of these windows, everything will be rebuilt. First thing, these side bolts that I made this summer. Um, if you've seen the video, I mentioned plate number one, which is the one that goes here on the back. You need to make it wider. Well, it turns out you might actually just need to make the table narrower instead because this is too wide right now. Uh, I did, when I installed these uh, sidewalls, which I'm very happy about these sidewalls, I did t say to myself, that's a very big table, but hey, what do I know? Well, now it turns out that I can't fit the side, the, the windows because of this piece here. It's just too wide. That's why I've cut off a bit of a triangle here. So I've taken the, the side walls away. I've, you can see it's not connected to the cockpit where it's supposed to because I need to fit these, pardon my French, bloody windows. Furthermore, I made this structure uh, two years ago. You can see I'm able to put my foot in underneath. I have around 15 centimeters of clearance here. It's on wheels. But it turns out that these, this structure has bended over the years and that's why I have a support here. It's actually two centimeters, three centimeters lower here than in the middle. So if you build a structure, make sure that you prevent it from bending. So, furthermore, the distance from this part here of the cockpit to the side wall should be, uh, back wall should be around 123 centimeters. Well, mine turns out to be 140, so I need to take this apart and move it towards the cockpit. Actually, I started out the other way around, making the back wall and then would go from there and then move the main instrument panel at the end so that it fit. Well, that's not going to happen. I'm, this is staying and then everything else is going to be rebuilt. Furthermore, it's too big. You can see up there, that's the height of the overhead, which should be 160 something centimeters. And the height of my structure is 180. Once again, things just doesn't fit. And the drawings, no drawing is precise. There's always going to be differences. So just make it a way that fits in your own cockpit. You cannot download a drawing and expect it to fit. Next up for me is installing this and that might take a few weeks because I need to rebuild everything right now. I'm looking forward to it and Christmas is coming so I might have time home 
where I can that I can spend on some carpenter work. Uh, hopefully next video will be of a freshly installed window and perhaps even a whole structure for this cockpit. I'm Peter from Bilderberg. You guys take care. Bye bye.